This video describes how to configure your virtual data center's network to allow hosts on the Internet to access services on a virtual machine. For the sake of this example, we'll show how to open HTTP and HTTPS access to all hosts on the Internet, and to open SSH access from just your home or office IP. The same methods shown here can be applied to any other service. By default, your VDC is created with a single edge gateway which sits in front of a private subnet. Your vApps are all deployed to the private subnet, and the edge gateway acts as a router and firewall. All traffic that comes into your VDC from the public internet is going to pass through the edge gateway, so we need to configure firewall rules to ensure that only desired traffic is allowed through, and NAT rules to direct traffic to the correct VM. Before configuring the network settings, you'll need to know four things. First, the TCP or UDP ports for the services you're allowing access to. In our example here, we're using three services, HTTP on port 80, HTTPS on port 443, and SSH on port 22. You'll also need the internal or private IP address of the virtual machine where you're running these services, the public IP address assigned to your VDC's edge gateway, and the public IP for your home or office internet connection, wherever it is you're connecting from right now. You can find your VDC public IP as follows. Once you've logged into the vCloud Director Portal, first click on the Administration tab. On the left, choose Virtual Data Centers, and then on the right, double click your VDC to open it. Click on the Edge Gateways tab, right click on the gateway, and choose External IP Allocations. Copy down the public IP shown. You may want to put it in a notepad window for safekeeping. Then, click Cancel to dismiss the window. Now that we have the IP address and protocol information, we can set up the Edge Gateway services. Right-click on your Edge Gateway again, and this time choose Edge Gateway Services. Click the NAT tab at the top of the window. Then click Add DNAT at the bottom. For Applied On, make sure your external subnet network is chosen. Next to Original External IP or Range, enter your public IP address that you wrote down earlier. For HTTP access, choose TCP from the protocol dropdown. For Original Port, choose HTTP 80. And enter the private IP address of the virtual machine that's running your web server. For Translated Port, choose HTTP 80 again. Make sure the rule is enabled and then click OK. For HTTPS, repeat the same steps as for HTTP, but choose port 443. Finally, to allow SSH access, repeat the same steps again. This time, choose port 22. We've successfully configured NAT rules, but that's only half the picture. The default firewall settings will still block any incoming connections. Let's fix that now. Click on the Firewall tab at the top of the Edge Gateway Services window. Ensure that Enable Firewall is checked, and click the Add button at the bottom of the window. To allow HTTP access, ensure that Enabled is checked, and give the Firewall rule a name, for example, Allow HTTP. For Source, put the word Any, and choose the same for Source Port. This will allow anyone on the Internet to connect, which is exactly what you'd want for a web server. For destination, enter your VDC's public IP address that you copied down earlier. For destination port, choose HTTP 80. You can also just type in the number 80. For protocol, choose TCP. Make sure Action is set to Allow, and then click the OK button. To allow HTTPS access, click the Add button again and follow the same steps, but using port 443 this time. Enter any for source and source port. Enter your public IP address for destination. Enter 443 for the destination port and click OK. Finally, let's make a rule that allows SSH access from only your IP address. It's generally a bad idea to leave SSH open to the entire Internet if you don't need to. If you're not sure of your home or office public IP address, you can search Google for the phrase, What is my IP? It'll give you the answer at the top of the search results. 
Now click the Add button again to add a new firewall rule. For source, enter your home or office IP address. For source port, again choose any. For destination, enter your VDC's public IP address. For destination port, choose SSH 22 or just type in the number 22. For protocol, choose any. Make sure action is set to allow and click OK. Then back on the main Edge Gateway Services window, click OK again. It'll take a moment for the Edge Gateway to be configured with your new rules. You can view the progress from here. Once this is finished, you'll be able to browse to access your VM's HTTP and HTTPS services from anywhere on the Internet and connect to it via SSH from your home or office. Let's give it a shot. Open up a new tab in your web browser and enter the public IP address from your VDC's Edge Gateway. You can also test SSH access using a client like Putty. Enter the public IP address of your VDC's Edge Gateway and you should be able to connect. If not, make sure that you enter the correct IP address into your firewall rules. Remember you can use these same steps to configure any other service as long as you know the ports that you need to open.